This is really important point because when you played it first, you played it where all the beats were kind of even. It was very fast. Okay, that's okay. It's your decision. But I never understood the impulse of the phrase. Do you know, uh, do you play ping pong? Uh, yes. You know ping pong, yeah? So I call it the ping pong music because it's ping pong. <laughs> ping. So in every piece of music, we need to find what is the ping pong of the music. Is it ping pong da 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 ping pong or ping pong ping bam 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 ping or ping da 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 pong da da ping da pa ti pa ta tong yeah so is it in two or is it in one ping da 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 di di da da pong da ga da ga da ti da 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 ti so all the beats in between are not as important one ti da da di di da da Two, taka taka tati. So, if you're able to find the biggest beat you can for the music, you will make the, be the best phrase you can. You chose the smallest one. You played. <laughs> away last year the pianist used to say try to walk freely on a firm ground so in order to do that in music you need the firm ground but in between the ping pong you can be free 